In this video, a simple and cheap method for rotating solar panels is discussed. This rotation can be done in a single axis or two axis form. The more the surface of the solar panels that can be used, the higher the efficiency of the system. I recommend this method to photovoltaic solar power plants and I am ready for any kind of cooperation with these power plants. Watch the video and judge for yourself. Your comments will cause the exchange of information, so it would be great if you could make any suggestions or comments. It makes me proud that you are satisfied with the channel's videos and subscribe to it. Thanks, Ebrahim Hashemi. Hello everyone, welcome to Fixed Focus Program. I am Ebrahim Hashemi and this is another Fixed Focus Program. In this program, I want to move a solar panel in two vertical and horizontal axes using the rotating base of the fixed focus system. You know that if the solar panels are installed in a fixed manner they produce less energy. You can see the electric output diagram of a solar panel that is fixed during a day in the figure. And if we move the solar panel in such a way that it is always perpendicular to the sun's rays, we can have 30% more energy. And 30% is a significant amount. You can see the electrical energy diagram of a rotating solar panel in the figure. If we put these two graphs together, you will notice the output changes. Panel rotation in solar power plants will be very important. And the rate of increase of 30% in a solar power plant is very significant. Solar panel rotation system should be in a way that has economic justification. In the method you see in this video, the rotation system will be very simple and cheap. Well, let's get started. In this method, we need a circular axis and it doesn't matter how high it is from the ground. An electric motor with a gearbox performs horizontal movement. And horizontal rotation is done very easily. There is another electric motor here. It is a DC electric motor connected to a worm gear. And it can turn this metal reel and wrap the metal tow wire around itself. The power consumption of these electric motors is very low and they do our work easily. And this is also a solar tracker that should be installed on top of the solar panel. and the control box, which includes the electric circuit, battery, and connecting wires. This is also a bearing that is located in the center of horizontal rotation. This bearing is of great importance in the rotation of the panel. You can see that the number of parts is not many and the system will be cheap. In order to place this solar panel, which has dimensions of 165 cm x 100 cm, on the system, we need two support bases. This panel has an output power of 270 watts. For this I need two suitable bases. I will put one of the bases here. And another base on the opposite side. In fact, I made two bases and the panel is placed on these two bases. I have also considered a small 5 watt panel to feed the system circuit. Behind the 5 watt solar panel is a battery charging circuit. And the LED being on shows that the output has voltage. If I put it on the shadow side, it will be seen better. So I can install the bases quickly. And I will put the big solar panel on the pedestals and then I install the tracker on it. Let's go to continue working. Yeah, 
On both sides of the panel, I have created a suitable hole for the shaft that is placed in it. This hole is at a distance of 40 centimeters from the edge of the panel because the width of the panel is approximately 100 centimeters. It is better for this hole to be between 3 tenths and 4 tenths of the width of the panel. Now we put one side in the shaft and then the other side. In fact, the movable horizontal base should be longer so that we can connect a support from the horizontal base to the vertical base. This makes the panel not move in the opposite direction. To move the vertical movement of the solar panel, two bearing guide rollers are used, one at the top and the other at the bottom. With these two metal rollers and the towing wire that passes through them, the solar panel can be moved easily. Now I connect the towing wire from the iron rollers and in the right direction to the hole at the bottom of the panel. To install the tracker, I will first set the camera in the right place. Now it's time to install the solar tracker. This tracker is very accurate and it is better to place it far from the axis of rotation of the panel. I place it on top of the solar panel in the middle. Now I connect the output wires of the charger to the wires of the battery. Positive to positive and negative to negative. The assembly work is finished and by rotating the panel, I place it in front of the camera and sunlight. Well, you can see that the installation work was finished in less than half an hour. Now that the sun is on the horizon, I manually switch the panel to landscape mode to be automatically placed perpendicular to the sun rays. Manual changes are possible by pressing the up and down and left and right keys in the control circuit. This vertical rotation can vary from 0 to 90 degrees. Now I have turned on the system and the solar panel is moving in horizontal direction slowly. Horizontal rotation takes place slowly. You don't need to use precise trackers for solar panel rotation systems. A normal solar tracker is also sufficient because it is not necessary for the solar panel to make a 90 degree angle with the sunlight. The tracker that I have now installed on this solar panel is a precise tracker and it can track the sun in the space of 180 in front of it. The rotation is not over yet. 
When there are very dark clouds in the sky, the tracker is automatically removed from the circuit. At night, the horizontal motion system moves the solar panel back approximately 100 degrees to be ready for tomorrow's sunrise. The panel page is being verticalized with solar rays. Well, I will give a brief explanation of the different parts of the system. First, the small electric DC motor that performs horizontal movement with its small gearbox. The charger circuit is charging the battery. This is the output power cable of the panel. This is also a solar tracker, and the small cylinder on it contains a light-sensitive sensor that takes the tracker out of orbit when there is a cloud. And this is the second DC electric motor that can move the panel vertically by connecting to the gearbox. You can see the towing wire that is on the rollers. The towing wire is attached to the panel and it can move much more weight than this panel. However, for larger panels, the towing wire must be thicker. This is the control box that includes the system control circuit and battery and an electronic eye for horizontal movement at night. The system is very simple and this motor is 5 watts and this motor is 3 watts. Instead of these rollers, you can use double bearing iron tubes or linear bearings. In the figure you can see an example of it. Well, I hope this video was useful for you. This system is not very economical for small panels, but it will be excellent for a set of panels with an area of 5 meters or more. Also, this system is very suitable for photovoltaic power plants, and in these power plants, it is not necessary to have a solar tracker for each system, but a central control can be used. In photovoltaic power plants, the 30% increase in energy will be really impressive, and it is a waste of energy and cost to place the panels fixed. Now you can see a general and simple view of the connection of the tow wire in vertical movement in the figure. We can do another interesting thing and it is only for cold regions because the sun mostly radiates horizontally in these regions. In this method, the output energy of the panels can be increased to more than 80%. And this means that if we have 20 meters of solar panels, with an 80% increase, we have 36 meters of panels. In this method, a mirror of the same size as the panel can be placed on all four sides of the panel. These mirrors are placed at a 120 degree angle at the bottom, left, top, and right, and in the sample image, you can see that there are three sides of that mirror. Calculation of radiation And calculating the radiation angle Of course, I emphasize again that this method can be used in areas where the sun's radiation is very weak. Finally, to see how this system works, 10 hours of high-speed system work has been filmed, which you will see at the end of the video in one minute. Make sure to write your comments, thank you all for watching the video, so God bless you until the next video.